three days of intensive discussions are behind us um, in our Labs of Democracy 2022 on energy and climate policy issues. And you, Silke, you took time out of your busy schedule um, in Berlin um, to be here. Why did you participate? Because I love the exchange um, between United States and um, Germany, but also between politicians from different backgrounds. And um, I'm here because I want to see best practices uh, to fight climate change and to live in a carbon neutral society. And I think I found some. That's really interesting. What did you find? When we were at the university, they said that they want to build a campus that is carbon neutral and that they focus on every strategy on their buildings um, to change um, the way the campus is working and is, um, is bringing out carbon. And they also use the knowledge of their scientists. And I think this is a very brilliant idea. And I think I will bring this back to Berlin. That is fantastic. Um, you had the chance to talk to Republicans, to Democrats, um, to members of uh, different German parties. Is there something which surprised you from this exchange? Is there common ground? I think that everybody who is here um, is trying to make a change um, in pro um, protecting the environment or fighting climate change. And um, I think this is very interesting if we compare the backgrounds where we come from and the perspectives also that we bring with our different voters. Um, and I think this is what is very important because if we don't want that the society fall apart, it's important that we and also the citizens talk to each other also if they have different backgrounds. You are a very strong Europeanist, um, standing in for European integration and the European idea. Now this is a transatlantic project. Um, why are you interested in transatlantic relations? Sharing knowledge between the US and Europe can help us to reach the new level of fighting climate change. Um, this doesn't mean that I'm still believing in a multilateral world, so I think that I'm working on the global level means more than US and Europe, but I think it's important that US and Europe work together because um, when you have a look at the universities and the research knowledge etc and we can see that um, yeah we can we have to work together to bring it to the next level thank you very much